Hello everyone, DJ Aaron here. I'm going to reshoot this video because I'm going to do them in two separate videos. I'm going to do one on Elementary OS, and then I'm going to do one on this Pearl OS, which is kind of a Mac OS clone, and, and it also won't connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn on the computer. Let it boot up here. And then we're going to press the escape key. Yeah, it says please wait. Fuck off. Okay. Phone's being a dick. All right. So um, we press F2 and we could do our boot settings and stuff like that. All right. So here we go. We're going to boot into elementary OS, which is, I'd have to say, the latest version with, uh, should I say, uh, what, whatever environment it is. I can't remember which environment. But we are now booting into elementary OS, and it's going to take a little bit of time, though, to uh, boot into it. So what this will kind of look like, it will look a little bit like Mac OS X, but not quite really, okay? So we are going to establish that. It's, it's not going to look a lot like Mac OS X right off the bat. But to uh, kind of show that uh, elementary OS was going kind of for that theme, but they did it in their own way, which is kind of sweet. And I am going to show you guys some of the drawbacks of elementary OS that um, that I've kind of uh, you know kind of noticed. So as this is booting up, I have no way to edit this. So as this is booting up, uh, you're seeing this in. Uh, awesome kind of awesome real time here so it is gonna pick up the network here and momentarily the screen screen will go white and we got a cursor and yes this is being done off of a live DVD we got the uh, the panel the menu bar up on top and we got wireless network and it's going to come up with a uh, um, try elementary OS so we're going to try it so this may take a few minutes as it always does there we go so there's uh elementary OS booting up so I'm not even gonna well I'm gonna enter in my network but I'm going to just kind of put the camera down not even our network I want to see here yeah it's our network okay so I'm gonna kind of pull the camera away and I'm going to I'm going to do this with one hand. Okay. All right. I almost literally fucked that up. Again. The thing about shooting this with one hand. is you can get it wrong okay so we're connecting the network there we go we're connected the thing about shooting this with one hand is if you get it wrong it won't connect so right away right up here we're gonna show you the application thing you have everything like archive manager 
calculator, calendar, document viewer, a internet messaging. <coughs> your file manager, your mail client, your partitioner, <coughs> sorry, sneezing, uh, your web browser, your movies, your music, your search, your uh, screenshot thing, your photo viewer manager, or your photo manager, uh, Scanner uh, program, software center, um, uh, system settings terminal, and update manager. Down on the dock, we have Midori. We have the mail client. We have the messenger. Uh, calendar, music player. We had kind of a little glitch there. Um, movie player, uh, shot well, um, system settings, software center, and we have install elementary OS. Right here we got the clock and it is the wrong time and date. Or no, it's the right date but the wrong time. It's set for UTC. We don't want that. So we're going to click down Phoenix okay all right so we're here at the system settings panel or the control panel for the entire operating system so we can do your brightness we could do defaults which uh, shows the default programming we could do your uh, desktop, which there are different desktop backgrounds. I will get to that in a minute. Um, so you could do different settings. And then we have the dock settings and then the hot corners, which is very cool. And then we have language and support, which is going to, uh, no language is available. Okay, no language information available, that's okay. Um, we have privacy, <clears throat> we have startup applications, which, um, you know, we don't want to do, uh, right now. We have additional drivers, it's going to show, it's going to show me what kind of drivers that we have, um, so. Here we go. Here's what we uh, are going to have here. Um, as it's loading, it's downloading packet, uh, downloading and updating package indexes. And it's going to show me, um, well, it should have showed me um, the drivers, but it didn't. No uh, proprietary drivers are used on this system okay I thought it would find the drivers but unfortunately it didn't but it shows the display as the Hewlett Packard um, it's 15 inch monitor so that's cool and then we have the Microsoft webcam which is right up here um, so there we go keyboard layout as you guys look, the command and control key um, can bring up certain uh, things on the keyboard. Uh, command A, Command W, etc. Um, pretty much like a Mac. You can set the behavior and all that cool stuff. Layout, uh, English US pretty much all cool stuff. You could do different keys. Um, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, mouse and touchpad. The best way you could tell that your mouse works is do that. So yeah. 
anyways you could set timeout you could set you know you could set the double click timeout and stupid doc go away anyways you could <laughs> you could drag and drop you can uh, adjust the pointer speed sometimes I like my pointer a little bit fast it gives me a little bit of uh, headroom but for some of you that like your pointer slow you could do that as well and it slows it down enough to where you can control it I like it to about there if you have a touchpad especially for laptops you could adjust the touchpad uh, sensitivity or acceleration um, you could disable scrolling you can do edge scrolling you do two finger scrolling. Uh, basically, if you were to install this on a MacBook Pro, you could set this up for edge scrolling or two finger scrolling. Um, since I'm using a Windows PC, uh, you know, box standard out of the box, but since I'm using a Mac keyboard, it picks up all the commands and stuff like that for that particular keyboard. If, we'll, if it was a Windows keyboard, it would pick up whatever keys for that keyboard. So we have power management. We could suspend when lid is closed since this is a desktop. We pretty much do nothing. Um, we could actually put, put the computer to sleep when inactive. We could suspend pretty much everything, but you know, that's just that. Okay, we have printers, which doesn't come up with anything. It's just, you know, that. Um, sound. There's the sound settings for this particular operating system. Very cool. So you could you could adjust the uh, volume output to 100%, which is in the middle, and also you can set the balance. You could do fade, which you know set the analog output. Unfortunately, um, input, you know, microphone, unamplified, uh, etc. Um, but we could bring this up to 100%. And depending on what microphone we have, we could set the Microsoft LifeCam uh, microphone. And we could see the level move accordingly. We could adjust that to 100% if we wanted to. We can mute the microphone and etc. And that's how that works. All right. So just go back to that that's just gonna hang there okay we got sound effects we have bark and that will do that glass sonar etc so basically that's that and then this part portion is for tablets uh, since this is not a tablet this is a regular desktop computer that is disabled. Bluetooth, no Bluetooth. Uh, networks, it picks up uh, wired, which the cable is unplugged. Um, wireless, connected, uh, 130 megabytes per second. Uh, you can turn it off or on. What happens when you turn it off? Well, it turns off the Wi Fi. You could use a hotspot. This is also hotspot enabled. Go away, Doc, before I kick your ass. Um, <laughs> about system, there we go. There's the system. And you can pause that and watch. You can pause that and uh, look at that pretty much. So, yeah. All right, so. Anyways, we could do time and date, which brings us back up, which I already did that. We have a clock. We could do day of the week. We could do date and month. 
We could do 12 hour time, etc. Pretty cool. Universal access gives you access to different tools for the hearing impaired. Um, typing, pointing, and clicking, etc. Um, user accounts, I would think that this is, you know, for your user account, you do automatic login, but this is disabled for the live mode. Um, so that's just your control panel for the entire operating system. You could drag this back down and we have just the standard window. Okay, desktop backgrounds. You have basically a couple choices for desktop backgrounds. Like this background, the only, and it comes default with this one, this one, etc. I'm, I'm only going to go through a couple. I'm not going to go through a whole bunch. But you guys get kind of the idea. We got clouds. The only thing I dislike about this operating system is the fact that it doesn't have a minimize button. But I'm sure with a tweak downloader you could uh, you can do uh, different buttons and stuff. You could add more buttons. You can change the theming layout and everything if you choose to do so. This is pretty just box standard. The dock, hide on minimize. You could go don't hide. Uh, you could do hide or whatever. Auto hide. Let's see and uh, supposed to bring that back up but anyways that's how that works you could auto hide it here's a different theme here's transparent um, here's the uh, mate um, one you could go icon size you could go extra large for holy shit <clears throat> That is extra large. <laughs> All right, large is just like this. And then medium is like this. What does small do? Small, holy crap, that's small. I guess you would have to have it small if you were to add more on your dock. So go back to medium there. That's how it was. <laughs> And we'll go back to the regular there. So there is quite a bit you can do with this. Um, and again, you know, pretty pretty cool. Um, up here you have your log out, suspend, and shut down. You have your mail notification stuff. Clear. There's your internet connections, your, uh, your uh, audio, you could go into sound settings from there, which is cool, your uh, keyboard for English US, um, same thing for that, there's your clock, it's 11, 11:54 a.m. So basically, there's really not much to uh, show. I pretty much showed everything. So, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Oh, forgot one thing: the web browser Midori. Shit. Okay, to prove that it does work on the internet, there we go. We got the. Uh, we got the elementary OS uh, homepage. So we can type in something like google.com here. Okay, so there's google.com. <clears throat> and that works. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so, anyways.
that is pretty much it for this video. Peace out and should I say practice and enjoy. Time to shut this distribution down and upload this video. Yes, I want to shut down. press enter or return to actually shut the computer off.